probably something the Russians would have built in the 50s to house political prisoners in Siberia. Very similar to that. It was very institutional. It was made out of cinder blocks. There was nothing warm about it. And yet last Sunday afternoon, when after church with Zach and Haley, we left church and Zach said, by the way, did you know that they're going to, uh, they're going to demolish uh, married student housing? They're going to erect new... Uh, facility, new apartments for married students, and, and we were like, no, <laughs> yes, they are. So he drove us over there, and they had, they already had the construction fence up about an eight foot, seven, eight foot high fence all the way around it uh, to keep people out. They had vacated the premises, and, and we looked at it from afar. We took pictures from afar, but after thirty-five years uh, later having never been back in there because it was always inhabited by somebody and we didn't want to just say, hey, you know, we want to come in and relive our memories. <laughs> uh, and so, uh, but it was vacated and we had the opportunity to do so. The only problem was we had to scale this wall. And it was after church and Pam was in a dress and so we, uh, there was a security guard and I went to her and I said, 35 years, blah, 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 our first time. And it touched her heart. She goes, I didn't see nothing. <laughs> so, so we started scaling that baby. We started scaling that fence. And, and all went well, except for the fact that Pam's dress got hiked up around her waist. <laughs> at the top of the fence. And so we, didn't, we don't know if anybody uh, across the way is watching. But if they were, they got an eye for it. But for her, it was worth it. Because we wanted to go in there and Great memories, just like yesterday, 35 years. So when I thought about y'all uh, and how precious it was for me to, to think back 35 years ago when we began our lives together, I thought about Charles and Shook. 60 years, you know, is a long time. I, 50 years is kind of held up as the, as the benchmark, and it, and it should be. That's an incredible milestone. But when you get into 60 plus years, you're getting in rare territory. And so with that said, uh, they came to me several uh, months ago and said that they were considering doing this because this church is so important to them. If you know them, you know that that's the case. They love this church. They're dedicated and devoted to the ministry of Jesus Christ here at this church. And they wanted to celebrate this renewal, vow renewal ceremony in front of their church family. So Charles, if you and Shook would come at this time and just uh, come up here to the top of the platform. myself down here so that I'm not in the way as this is being videoed and so that the camera can see them. I want to share with you just several of the things that they said to me when I visited with them several weeks ago about this. Uh, and I think we need to I think we need to uh, take note of this, whether it's Graham and Bobby Wilson, whether it's Doyle and Leota, when you get into the 60 plus years and, and they say something that is the secret, it, it, it's something that we need to hang on to. And uh, Brother Bill and, and Mary, his wife, those that have been married this, these long periods of time. Well, uh, I asked them, uh, what is their, uh, you know, what would they, what did they think, or what would they have to say about their marriage? And the first thing they said to me was that when 60 years ago, on the 19th of 1953, September the 19th, they said, and as they look back on it now, remembering then, it wasn't so much a covenant with one another as it was a covenant with God. I thought that was significant because here they are 60 years later. They made a promise to one another, but primarily to God, that uh, whether sickness and health, they may have had a pretty good fair share of that. Uh, for better, for worse, rich or poor, they probably had a pretty good share of that. Uh, at least the richer part, right? <laughs> but uh, they have, uh, because of their promise to God, they, they, they stand here before you today. And Shook said, we just took it to be fact that there was no turning back. That when they made that commitment, there was no options other than that. Uh, Charles said, we never had a serious argument. And he said that in all seriousness and told me that again this morning. He said, we really never had a serious argument 
And then he added, except maybe when we're traveling together. So I don't know. <laughs> I, uh, I guess one drives and one navigates, and they don't always work so well. But uh, anyway, I thought that was kind of funny. We don't travel much. So they decided to stay home pretty often to preserve their marriage. That's good. <laughs> Uh, they also said, I asked them for marital advice, and they said, get along, give and take, and don't always have to be right. Amen. So that's some great advice. So with that said, uh, as you guys, if you would, face one another as you repeat these vows, uniting your hands as you've already done. After each of these questions, if it is your heart's desire before God again, as you renew your vows before Him and His witnesses, will you please answer together? We do. Charles and Sugar, do you now promise to renew the vows which you made when you were first united in marriage? We do. Do you promise to continue to keep the vows and the covenant which you made at your wedding? Do you promise to continue to cultivate your love for each other by discipline, understanding, trustfulness, compassion, thoughtfulness, patience, and mutual consideration? Do you promise to endeavor to maintain a Christian environment in your home and to help each other to live godly lives in Christian service? Charles and Shug, because of these vows which you have renewed with each other and with God in the presence of these witnesses, we're now going to join in a prayer of dedication for you. Father God, as we come before you this morning, we do so with joyful hearts, God. So much of what we see in this world is not positive. This is positive. We thank you, Father, for an example, God, of a love that began in that uh, young teenage year romance time and has maintained the faithfulness to the covenant before you. And here they stand, 60 plus years later, still together. We thank you, Father, for this till death do us part marriage. And I pray, Father, that it would bring you glory. I ask that you continue to be with them. And we don't know what the days hold ahead. They certainly had their challenges with health, and probably there will be more. And uh other challenges as well. But I pray, Father, that no matter what comes their way, that you allow in their lives that they would go through it together and that they would continue to love and support one another. I pray, Father, that you would bless them, Lord, as they love this church so much and have such a strong desire to serve here, that you would continue to allow them to serve until such day that you take them home. Now watch over them. Thank you, God, for their children, their grandchildren, their in-laws, for Sirius who's here today, for all of their family who's here to witness this special occasion. May your blessings be upon the McKee family, God. May your presence be felt. And Lord, may they enjoy you and bring glory to you so 